Hello, this is my review of the Wear and Modeler, the April 2023 edition, volume 74, so it must be going for 74 years, and it's number 870. The reason why I got this one was it's got a free supplement of the LMS Express Steam locomotives. It's got the old gin bridge, building a 3D printed coach kit, York in miniature. And looking on the back, you can see the Express Steam locomotives of the London, Midland and Scottish Railway. Got some nice black and white photos of a few of the locos there. And it said York in miniature, and the bridge there, out of weight, and about the 3D printed kit. Wow, look at this, the Express Steam locomotive, this looks very interesting. Let's move this out of the way for the moment, let's take a look at this. It's a survey of design built by the largest of the big four railway companies. Key class information, scale drawing, model overview. Quick look at what's inside. The London Midland Scottish Railway, and that's their emblem there. Oh, it says the London Midland Scottish Railway Crest. Emblem crest. I think that means the same thing. It says there. The Midland Railway influence is already in evidence as LMS compound 440 number 1157 pilots the LNWR Claunton 460 number 30 tabula with the 555 pm Belfast Boat Express at the hatch end on 29th July 1926. Quite a impressive photo. Another photo here. Claudon have judged as a near miss. Well that doesn't sound too good in locomotive design. They have many good points but the upheaval of the First World War and the grouping ensured that their flaws were never fully corrected. That's interesting. Fowler 6P Royal Scott 460 and Stania 7P rebuilds. So how much they cost? 7P? No, that's just their class. Didn't really cost 7P. That one there, see. Um, oh, that one's the Royal Scott. Quite a famous. That one's the freshly rebuilt with a Stania design taper boiler number 6147, Northamptonshire Regiment, pictured at Crewe, September 1946. Well, that's a nice little drawing there. I've got a model there. Class details, power classification, 6P, 7P rebuilt. That's what I'm just saying now. Wheel arrangement, 460. That means there are four wheels at the front. Those, those are like the bogey wheels, just there. And then six means those are the driving wheels. You, you can see the crankshafts connecting the wheels together. And then and sometimes they have two wheels just at the back, but this one doesn't. Yeah, as you can see, there's no wheels. Sometimes they have two little wheels are a little too set of bogey at the back but this one doesn't. Cylinders 3,18 feet by 26 feet bore and stoke. Oil pressure 250 psi. Weight 127 tonnes. It can hold 5.5 tonnes for the Fowler. 9 tonnes for the Stania. 3,500 gallons of water for the Fowler or 4,000 gallons for the Stania. That's a nice one in there. The unique 460 number 6170 British Legion rebuilt from the Fury in 1935. Fowler 5X Parrot 460 and the 7 Stanger 6P Strike 7P rebuild. There's another scale drawing by Ken Morgan reproduced here at 1 120th scale, originally published in 1968. Most of these blokes are. Now, this is what I was saying earlier. See, there's got this is a 462, so this is a slightly larger loco, I mean it's a longer seat. So the four burger wheels at the front, the six those are the driving wheels, and then the two wheels at the back there. And that's the Princess Royal Pacific number 6208 Princess Halibut Victoria near near Berkhamstead in 1936. That's my hometown. But they spelt it completely wrong. They spelled Berkhamstead. There's no P in it, it nor is any A in it. It's Burke, Ham, Stead, 
but they've put up spelled B E R K H A M S T E D power classification 7P wheel major arrangement 462 as I just said about they induced 1933 water capacity 4000 gallons number built 12 and only two were preserved above there number 6202 head north at Brinklow 1948 the turbine drive gave a sort of exhaust and a convention engine of a different type one well, these are the turbo motives 462. Right, so the third member of the Princess Royal Class number 6202 was turned out in 1935 with experimental steam turbine drive. The advantage of this system was that it was produced and even torque on the driving axle, elementing the hammer blow forces on the track produced by the wheels and motions of the conventional steam engine. And here's a Stania 5XP called the Jubilee 460 number 5552 five, five, Silver Jubilee climbs towards Edwardton soon after leaving Nottingham Midland with an up express for St Pancras in April or May 1935. Love and locates. Aha, uh -huh. streamline. I like these ones. And that one there is a Hornby double O gauge model of number 6221 Queen Elizabeth, one of the first five Princess Coronation Pacifics turned out in Blue Livy for the Coronation Scott Express. And that is a, says, a rare photo of number 6229 Duchess of Hamden in the gaze of 6220 Coronation Money, written with the headlamp fitted for its tour in the USA. Oh, that's right, because the Flying Scotsman also went to the United States and they have a few rules and regulations on uh, They have to have a lamp on the front like that. They have to have, I don't know if it's still true today, but they had to have a bell and a cattle pusher. I can't remember what it's called, but like, there's only cattle that it would look, be look, look, look like a snow plough, but anyway, that's what they had. That page. The 623 Duchess of Bush Clench, if that's how you pronounce it, at the north end of Crew Station with the and up expressed in 1938. So that's a quick look at the LMS special supplement from the Railway Modeler. So now let's take a look at the actual Railway Modeler magazine itself. Now this is the Railway Modeler. I'm not going to go through every single page because, see that, all that adverts. And then go to the back and then all of that at the back that's adverts and clubs so that would be quite boring so what I thought I'd do quickly go through the that just tells you the contents on the very first about York Station basically the contents and then a little bit way into the magazine has like the welcome page and it tells you a bit about the free booklet with this issue the it says with I won't read all of that but just a bit of it, it says with 2023 making the centenary of the grouping and creation of the Big Four Railway comes, we have prepared a special su supplement that ties in with this anniversary. The Big Four is a vast topic to cover in entirety, so this 16 page publication instead focuses on the large of these companies the London, Midland, Scottish Railway, and specifically new express passenger steam locomotives design. In between 1923 and 1947. Right. So we go over. Somebody decided to. If you haven't ever been to York Station, it's one of the big, not the biggest, but it really is a big station. I've been there about once or twice. It's quite large, as you can see. Even the model looks quite large. And it says A left is A3 number 72750. Papyrus bringing an express bound for King's Cross into platform 4. The local body is by Dapple with the added details and placement handrails. And that's like the layout what they've got. So you can see so it's like they've got two circled loops there. There's like a hidden bit there with the overall dimension including storage loops. I think that's perfect. 11 feet, no inches, 8 inches by no feet. I think that's supposed to mean. I've got a little ring window just there. And you can see what it looks like. And there's a, 
a photo of it there. Oh, I see, so that's the back side of it there. That's what I, I see now. So you look for the little viewing window there, you see, so that's how you can't really see. Oh, that's a nice black and white photo of it just there. Just in this 1950s view, shaft of sunlight, element, Grizzly D49440, number 62770, the Pucker Ridge, which is seen standing under the vast roof of York Station at the head of an express. Must have put them ages to see it at the York Easter show. York will be on show for the first time at the York Model Railway Show, hope to 10th of April 2023. For further details, see sighting clubs or visit yorkshow.org.uk. So that's quite impressive. You've got, I remember that footbridge when I, yeah, because apparently there's a signal box, just, which now has been, it used to have a signal box, but it's now been turned to a cafe. Of a quiet interlude at York Station, module 3D printed figure spring as creating Madacoom. As you can see, right, that's the diagram drawing of the layout. Overall layout size 3450 millimeters by 1550 millimeters. And what they've done, they've got a little a helix which you can see where they trying to go round and round circles in a, in a spiral so they can go up different levels but it can't be too steep because obviously locomotives can't go up as really steep hills like cars can so that's why it's got to be going up gradually it might need a bit of a run up as well as you can see just there so they come up here and they go round and round so the lower level fiddle yard is made fully operational before starting the scene at level above Nantford Spinney modelling and word Andy Baxton photography Jeff Hillowell you can see there I like that bridge there it says manual M class 260 number 31810 runs across the impressive Grider bridge built from a laser cut kit by N scenic it provides a focus point at one end of the layout and I've got a small hammer in one corner of the layout helps to disguise the sh sharp curve a GWR 5600-2062T in charge of the goods train and there you see so it's a bit of a half a loop got an estuary boat yard signal cabin I think they mean a signal box castle dock station building yard crane Good shed, coal yard, level crossing, a pub, a market, wood yard, mud flat, Natford spinning, halt, level crossing. They've got a road going across as well, yeah. It's a good old bridge, pillar box, so they've got quite a lot going on there. That's interesting, it says point control using chocolate blocks and lollipop sticks. So there they've got a little diagram point control wire, turn out tie bar, row of three chocolate block connectors, tighten these screws to secure the, the, the rods, I say yeah, to those screws as well. Position the top and bottom blocks amount of travel. Glue six to middle blocks using contact adhesive. This method provides a cheap and simple way of controlling points with the mechanisms hidden under the scenery. There's another visiting engine from the south and region Bullard Q1060 number 33002 is about to set a wagon from the goods shed while the 6400 class pannier runs around its B set in the station. So if you want to see any more of this magazine, you have to go and buy it because it's quite a big magazine. Too much to show you on, on the one video. Oh, like other bits as well. Nice little black and white photo there of an 060. Another black and white photo of uh, Fort William station. Quite nice coloured photos in here. They're showing you how to build a footbridge there. I like it how they've got these black and white photos. Sometimes these black and white photos can be more powerful than, than an ordinary coloured photo. Anyway, that's my quick review of the April edition of the 
Well, my modeler, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.